Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to find a simplified Boolean expression by using three variable theta. Now, here are the functions. f of x comma y comma z is equal to sum of min terms they given 1, 2, 3, 6 and 7. Now, these are the min terms we are going to assign in this three variable k-map and by using those ones, we need to form a groups. Now, we will assign ones in this three variable k-map. Firstly, before assigning ones in this three variable k-map, we need to find out the min terms expressions here. Now, for m1 min term, the product term, we can write it as x bar and y bar and z. And m2, we may consider the product term as x bar, y and z bar. Similarly, in the same manner, we may express the min term m7 will be equal to x and y and z. Now, we are assigning ones for the mentioned min terms in this function. So, here the positions of the min terms here, for the first cell, we need to assign m0. For the second cell, we need to assign 1. For the third cell, here we need to consider m3 min term. Here, m2 min term position. And here, m4. Here, m5. Here, m7. Here, m6. Now, these are the different positions of the min terms in this three variable k map. Now, here we are going to assign once for the given mentioned min terms in this function. So, here the min terms are 1. So, we need to consider in the m1 position 1 here. And for m2 min term, here we need to assign 1 here. And for m3, here are the 1. And for m6, here are the 1. And for m7, here are the 1. Now, by considering all these ones in this three variable k map, here we need to combine the adjacent ones. So, if we observe these ones, the m3 min term, m2 min term, m7 min term, m6 min terms are adjacent to each other. So, here we are forming a group by considering these four ones. Now, we left with one min term here in the position m1. So, by to combine this m1, we need to consider the adjacent one in the other cell. So, for this m1, m3 will be the adjacent one. So, by grouping this m1 and m3, we are forming a another group. Now, we will write separately the product terms for these two groups. Now here, firstly, before writing directly the product term for each group, we will write the product term by considering all the min terms in each group. So here, for the first group, by considering the four ones regarding M3, M2, M7 and M6 min terms, now we will write the product term for this group. So for M3 min term, this can be Consider as x bar and y and z. And for 2, m2 min term, x bar, y and z bar. For m7 min term, x, y and z. For m6 min term, x, y and z bar. Now, we will find out by using these 4 min terms, we are going to find a Simplified product term. So, here in these two product terms, if we observe the yz variables are common and x bar plus x will be 1. Considering these two product terms, y and z bar will be common, x bar and x will be 1 here. So, yz in 1 plus yz bar and 1. By considering these two product terms, here again y variable will be common. So, z plus z bar. So, finally, we written 
the product term regarding these four ones will be equal to the variable y so by observing these four ones directly we may write the product term by considering these four ones are assigned in two rows and two columns the third column and fourth column so in these two rows the x variable will be changing that means x bar and x so it will be equal to 1 here and by considering the third column and fourth column here also the z variable is changing z to z bar and we are left with only one literal that is y so finally the changing variables will become 1 and the constant variable will be equal to that respect to group product term so for these four ones the product term will be equal to y here now we will write the another product term for the two ones here and these two ones are assigned in m1 position and m3 position so for this group we may write directly here these two ones are assigned in first row and second column and third column if we observe these two ones the x bar variable will be constant so x bar will be common and considering second column and third column the variable y will be changing so y bar y will become 1 and we left only with in column y z variable will be common so here the product term will be equal to for this group will be x bar and z finally for this given function the simplified expression can be written as f of x comma y comma z will be equal to the product terms we find for these two groups that is y plus x bar and z this will be the simplified boolean expression for the mentioned function here now we will see another example that is function of a comma b comma c is equal to sum of min terms mentioned here 0 2 3 4 and 6 here now we will simplify this function by using three variable k map now firstly we will consider the mid terms mentioned here are m0 the product term can be written as x bar and y bar and z bar similarly in the same manner the m6 min term can be written as x bar and y and z bar now by considering all these min terms for those min terms we need to assign one in that respective cell so here in m0 position we assign one here and m2 one here m3 one m4 one and for m6 position we assign one here now to simplify this function we need to group the adjacent ones so here if we observe this three variable k map here m0 min term and m4 min term these two ones are adjacent to each other and m2 min term and m6 min term and these two ones are also adjacent to each other so by considering these four ones we can make a group here if we compare this three variable k map by a page here the min term m0 m4 will be adjacent and m2 and m6 will be adjacent we can observe these four ones are adjacent means by folding this page like this we can form four ones as a group so here these two ones will be adjacent these two ones are also adjacent by considering these four ones we are forming a group so for that group we need to write the product term and here there is one more one left with uncovered so by considering this m3 with the adjacent cell m2 we can make another group here so we will write the product term separately for these two groups by considering the four ones here 
the a variable is changing from a bar to a by considering two rows and these two ones are in the first column and here are the two ones in the fourth column so here the variables b also changing from b bar to b and only left with one variable that is c bar here and here also c bar for the four ones for this group we can write the product term the common variable will be equal to c bar and by considering another group here the in this group the two ones are in only the first row and a bar variable will be common so write it down here and by considering these two ones are in the third column and fourth column so here if we observe b variable will be common so write here and if we observe the c variable it is changing from c to c bar so it will be equal to 1 and the product term for this group will be a bar and b and the simplified expression for the given function can be written as function of a comma b comma c will be equal to summation of these two product terms now that will be a bar b plus c bar so by following this procedure we can simplify any given boolean functions by using three variable k maps thank you